Hey folks, I'm HP and here is uh, Dr. Pink and today's topic is a relaxed, clean lead guitar as well, this would sound a little bit like this. So on. Uh, the theme of the song is from my song uh, On Employee Pier from my CD Blue City. And we're going to learn the chords, where, which are very easy, quickly, because uh, every guitar player needs to know the rhythm guitar as well. Oops, my microphone is a little bit set up. And um, we're going to learn the theme, because the theme of the song is very much into that topic and also how to get more deeper into in the impro <laughs> improvisation. You know what I mean? Yeah. So first step are the sound settings. <laughs> these sound settings, um, this is a Fender Deluxe amp with a uh, two times 12, I don't know, inches uh, cabinet. Slight delay on it. And slide compression. And I'm playing on the neck pickup. And the rest of the tone is created on the fretboard. And that's the topic of today's tutorial. How to get the sweetness in the sound with a clean uh, lead guitar. So let's get started. But first we're going to check out the chords. They're very easy. Let's tune uh, it's just uh, four chords. So it's this. It's uh, D minor, the bore here. D minor, let's play with finger picking. D minor. Five, seven, seven, six, the normal bore. A type. Then E type B flat major, six, eight, eight, seven, and bore. And G minor, third, fifth, fifth, and bore. And A minor, same as B flat major, uh, B uh, then A major, not major, minor, same but now the fifth fret. Yeah. And uh, the finger picking pattern is first the bass, one, two, one, and <coughs> and it is is in half two two chords in one bar. So one, so first the bass and then the upper part of the chord, which is the D, the G, and the B string. See, and you play it short, and then you go over the op open open E string. See, one, two, and always switch over the open E string. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, four. Yeah, that's the entire rhythm guitar. Pretty easy. Try to play it as relaxed as possible. Now let's get to the requirements which are needed to play a lead guitar here on this track. Since it is a, a track in um, D minor, we of course play D minor pentatonics, position four, which will be here. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, six, eight, five. And probably also go down here, but I'm 
don't use this too often don't use this in position four uh, eight five so but well, this is not enough this is just uh, the grid around the thing now but we're playing d minor scale in this position which would be five seven eight five seven eight five seven five six eight five six eight and try to practice in 60 notes. So one, taka, taka. 60 notes are four per beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So this is the tempo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See, pretty easy. Um, and also try this figure here. So this one, two, three, four. Always four up and then go to the next step. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See? And down the same thing. Four down. Then next down, four down again. Next down, four down again. So in sixty notes. So one, two, so this beat. Taka 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 ta. Oops. Looks like this. Pretty easy stuff. If not, you need to practice this a little bit. Now we're not only playing in position four, we're also playing in position one of the pentatonics here in the 10th fret. 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 13, 12, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 13, and that's it, pentatonics. And of course, the D minor scale, which is inside the grid of the D minor pentatonics. 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12. Now we go to the ninth. 9, 10, 12, 10, 11, 13, 10, 12. We can do the same thing here again as before. So first in 16 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or in this figure, which I showed before. Yeah, that was a thing with always four up, move to the next four up or four down, move to the next below. Now, these are the technical requirements a little bit, um, but uh, you don't need to play the, the last figure which I played. Now, let's see how the theme of the song works. The theme of the song is very, very simple. Uh, originally, this song was meant, uh, by the way, for Gary. <laughs> he was a beginner at that time. I wanted to show him something very simple, uh, on uh, which has a lot of fun, but it's technical and not so hard to play. Um, now, this was here. We have a bending here. We go back in position four. So this is the main theme. So this is the theme. We make bending here in the um, eighth fret quick bending release jump down on se six seven see one two three and then we have hammer on first is hammer on here it's hammer five to seven then again five to seven but now we attack these two the difference between uh, playing legato and attacking makes the smoothness of a theme or of an improvisation. See, if you put plate, would attack all of them, it sounds a little stiff, but this way it sounds a little bit more smooth. Then six, five, five. And here you have to be prepared so that bar is already ready. See? See? 
Let's give it a try with the track. Two, three, four. Yeah. So the first part, this is the opening motif. Then comes the answer, motif two. Then we go back to motif one. Now we do another answer. We go slide in, slide here in 10, 8. See? So. Other answer than before. Now we play the topic again. Now we make a slide variation, a little one, but the slide variations make the big difference when you play a, t a, team, uh, a team, a theme, which uh, repeats a thing all the time. If you make slide variations, it makes it sound much more interesting. In this case, this remains the same, but now instead of playing, you play. See, there's an additional one with the open D string. This is a little sex doll figure. So that's that. And that's the difference. And then and then we do the same thing again. So let's try this again. I have to go back to the beginning of the song. So now I play the topic with slight variations. Three, four. What I also did is make kind of a uh, pullback. Uh, uh, we call this play over the bar line. It's an is a improvisation technique from Miles Davis from j out of jazz music, like where you pull back the timing, like because the when you play. <laughs> and then comes this figure. And second time you, you, because everybody expects that you do the same thing again, then you hold it, and then when it nearly, nearly it's too late, then you release the tension uh, with um, the last note missing. I show this again. Now we do this. See how I pulled back the timing to create more tension and this lead it directly to the second part. Now comes the second part, which is very easy. It's just a scale. He starts in the 10th, 10, 11. It's just a scale, but the phrasing makes the difference. So one, two, three, four, one, and two. Th All are attacked. And here we make this anticipation, this, I don't know how you call this. You, you play here, but it makes a fast hammer on. And here, instead of attacking, slide down. And this makes the smoothness again. Again. Now 
now on the second time I'm making this technique again a slight variation, in this case I made a rake on the first and then again pull the timing so far back that it nearly teared the entire uh, melody apart. Don't exaggerate that technique. I'm just exaggerate, exaggerating it now to show you the effects. So I'm going to now play the entire theme with um, this technique. <laughs> So wait two rows and then we start. Three, four. Go back to the first theme. Now we start with the improvisation. Improvisation um, is pretty tricky on this track. It's very slow, very relaxed, you have a lot of space, so there are a lot of opportunities to make things wrong instead of making them right. I try to focus on the on a crystal clear uh, <laughs> lead experience. <laughs> Let's call it this way. <laughs> like try to concentrate a, a few notes. See. Don't play too much, but what do you play with maximum expression? Very simple stuff, but... Or with the technique we just showed before, play the theme and, and pull back the timing. Then try to play 60 notes. Now you can include the runs which I showed in the in the um, requirements. If you play a 16 run, runs are just there to lead from point A to, P to point B. So if you want to have, if you want to have this target note, this is the target note. So you make the run start soft. See how the dynamic shift moves towards this note. That's what we want, what we need, and what we are dying for. <laughs> See, Doctor Pink. Yeah, Dr. Pink is the same opinion. And that's a trick. And also, if you want to... If we want to uh, play this note, let's say this one, we, we create a sequence run, which leads to the note which we want. And that's a technique, how to use runs, and in between, you go for this maximum expression with vibrators. These these notes, I really love this one here. See? Let's give it another shot. See, like stuff like this on the bandings. And now we make a run. With Litsu here. Then continue from there. Uh, 
and with the runs you you cannot you always jump from point A to point B. What I did, I played the run. Moved up here, slide it up to have this smooth sound, which is the same note as this one, with, which is the point where the other run starts. And this way you connect between the, the point A to B to C to D, you just connect the different way waypoints. See. Let's give it a last shot. Okay, let's start with Run up, back down. Lip with between you go to the relaxed stuff. Also leave, leave a lot of space to breathe. Yeah, that was the extended tutorial about um, unemployed peer or just to how to create relaxed, uh, clean uh, lead guitar. And um, the, I probably the, the easiest way to get into, get into this whole thing is just learn the theme by the CD, <laughs> Blue CD, and um, just uh, noodle around the theme a little bit. The wider you get away from the theme, the more, of course, your own creativity has to work. And probably these runs, which I showed, can give you a kind of a guiding line for where you can do those waypoints and stuff like that. Yeah, what else to say? Dr. Pink, something to say? Yeah, Dr. Pink wants to go back to this glorious summer of 2003 where it was a really had, we had a great time hanging at the lake of Fafikon all summer because it was too hot. Uh, even my, my uh, lessons were held at the lake and not in my studio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a great time, 2003. Probably the best year I ever experienced. Yeah, so um, that's why it didn't work at all, because uh, I didn't need to. I just made f uh, work for fun there. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time ago. Anyhow, um, this is all I wanted to say. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, Instagram, hence Peter Cruzy. Uh, it's cool stuff there. I post stories nearly daily about my life which i'm doing stuff like that current projects if you want to support the hp crazy academy the free hp crazy academy support is needed because there's always a lot of new stuff needed to be invested all your donations going to be invested back into the hp crazy academy and so it means coming back to you good that's all we wanted to say yeah dr pink <laughs> Dr. Ping is hungry. We go for food now. Mm.